of review of new products that I've gotten lately. I'm just gonna do like a first impressions and try on some stuff. Some stuff is like, you know, actual like new products and some stuff is um, just like new to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I don't have new products. I don't have new products for like every single thing. Like I don't have a new foundation. I'm trying to see. I don't have a new eyeliner. Um, I don't have a new setting powder. I think those are the only things I don't have new stuff for. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. I'm going to start with this primer by Nor no, uh, by Touch and Soul. It's one of the No Pore Blem primers. This is the Prime Essence Relaxation for Better Skin. It's like one of these little dropper things. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm kind of worried that it's like, just gonna be like weird and watery and just like roll right off my face and that this is gonna be super messy. But we're gonna give it a shot anyway. I feel like a scientist. Fancy. I don't, so do I just like, do I just like drop it on my face? <laughs> I have concerns. Okay. Okay, it's a little thicker uh, than I expected. I kind of expected like a a watery consistency. Also, I don't know if this is way too much or way too little. I've never used anything like this before. So, um, I guess I just like, oh no, it's really oily. Okay. I have regrets. Okay, it... I hope that it dries down because right now it feels really oily and it also feels like I put way too much on. Please look at how shiny my face is. Oh man, I should have done like one drop that probably would have been like enough for the whole face. Okay, my face oh feels my. like, I don't know, it definitely feels oily and it definitely looks oily. Like look how shiny this is on my face. So if you are like really dry, this is probably a good thing for you. But if you're like me and you're a little oily, um, probably not my best choice, uh, but they sent this to me and I wanted to try it. They sent me their collection of like, uh, best selling primers and stuff. So I thought I would give this a shot and I've used their other primer, the Icy Sherbert primer. And this is like my favorite primer. I use this all the time. The smell of it is just so good. It's like this like weird pink, like jelly cooling primer. And as you can see, I like it a lot cause it's like really used, but, um, so far, not a huge fan of the other one, but you know, I just tried it, so we will see. So I'm going to pop some foundation on and we will be back. Okay, so I put on my Conceal and Define by Makeup Revolution foundation, and I will say the foundation went on really smooth over uh, this primer, so we'll see, maybe it's, you know, gonna work out, but I just wanna see, like, throughout all the makeup, if, I can, if I'm able to get it matte enough and, like, you know, not oily on my face. Uh, it's definitely still tacky right now. I'm gonna need to put a uh, powder down, but I have a new concealer. It is the I Heart Revolution Heartbreaker Concealer. They just started carrying this at my Ulta, so I wanted to try it. I've seen it on uh, Instagram a bunch. It's a really cute uh, packaging, and I got the shade Buttermilk, which is the lightest shade, of course. Uh, probably should have opened this before I started filming a video. A small struggle later and we're back. So this is what the concealer looks like. It has like a little heart-shaped applicator, which is super cute. So I'm just gonna do my concealer like I usually do. I'm gonna pop it on under my eyes and on my eyes and just, you know, see how this blends. The first thing I noticed is that this is like really stiff. It has like no movement at all. It's, it's like almost feels like straight, like I'm using like a plastic spatula to put my uh, concealer on like it doesn't move at all and it doesn't feel very soft um, I can ignore that if it works well it's still kind of weird but you know you do you makeup revolution I feel like it smells it smells like sunscreen it has like that summery sunscreen smell also but I'm going to try to blend. Let's see how this blends. I've got my Juno & Co sponge here. Um, it seems like it's blending pretty nicely. Definitely not like full, full coverage. Maybe like a medium, but I think it's looking nice. I mean, I think it looks pretty good. Well, I mean, 
I would say that this seemed like a win. I like it so far upon first impression. You know, I haven't really worn it very long, but I really like the way it blends out. I feel like it blends out really easily and like covered what I wanted to cover. I'm a fan. So I am going to set my face with just my Maybelline Fit Me powder and we will come back to do everything else. All right, so we are back and if you hear crunching in the background, my cat is in the trash can. One of them, that's Ivy. We have Mr. Business over here. He's in my trash can. So if you hear that, that's what that is. Um, I have the XX Revolution Elemental Palette, which is this cute little thing here. Um, this was a recent buy for me, so I'm very excited to try it. It has this bronzer and it looks like two highlights, but I might try to use this one as just kind of like a blush topper esque thing and see how we work that out but i'm just gonna go in with this real techniques uh brush here on this bronzer it looks like def oh my god <sighs> okay a lot of kickback on that be very gentle I'm gonna <sniffs> tap an awful lot off of that that did not go how i expected but let's give this a shot anyway i'm kind of scared now It's, it's blending out nice. It looks smooth. I'm not quite as horrified as I thought I would be. Let's be really gentle this time. Uh, luckily, it's a nice, uh, like a bleh, soft enough bronzer that like it's not holding. I hate when you get a lot of bronzer on your brush and you touch your face and then you start to blend. But wherever you like touched, it just holds it like right there and you have a really hard time blending it. Uh, this doesn't seem to be doing that, so that's nice. I feel like I have to like be super gentle to get in here though and like build this because I don't want to look like an insane person. Okay, so I liked it. It definitely wasn't as like bananas as I thought it was gonna be. I was kind of terrified when I first touched it and it was like but it blended Next, out. Next, I'm going to try this pink as a blush. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna go. I'm not sure if it's gonna be dark enough. It's like this. I think it might be a little too uh, sparkly, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway, because why not? What are we doing? Um, I'm just gonna take this little uh, Joa brush here, and I'm just gonna try to like pat this in. Mm, it's definitely coming off more uh, high lady than like a solid color. I don't, I don't hate it though. <laughs> I really don't. Uh, but I might just go in with uh, my Cheek Leaders palette from Benefit and just take a little bit of the shade Dandelion and just uh, give myself some actual blush so I don't just have like a stripe of bronzer and then like glow <laughs> so i'm just gonna build that up and then what i'm gonna do is i'm going to take the highlighter brush and i'm gonna use this pink as a highlight this middle shade i think is just gonna be a little too deep for me as a highlight so let's just go pink here that is a seriously intense highlight oh i love that though you know i like to look like a freshly waxed floor if you hear like gross slurping sounds, my cat is giving herself a bath behind me and I apologize because even I don't want to hear that. All right, so the next product I have is the Faux Brow from XX Revolution also. And this this is uh, interesting to me. It's like one of these like little like triangly looking ones. And I'm not sure how to use this. Like, like what do I do? Do I like, do I just like pull it all? Do I take like just the edge? Do I like, do I use the whole thing and like go like this? like? I just don't know. I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to use this, so I think I'm just gonna like, I don't know, like take it flat and just kind of like pull it up on my brow and just, I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. And then I'm gonna drop palettes on myself. Um, okay, see here. we filled they're a little dark and then it has this like this like fluff brush thing so I'm just gonna like fluff them and try to like chill the color out a little bit and we'll see how that works oh it feels cool 
It's like a tiny little hairbrush for your eyebrows. Well, I enjoyed that more than I probably should have, but I feel like my brows look, you know, I don't know, they look acceptable. I'm not good at my brows. I kind of just like, like scribble them in and I'm like, good enough. So <laughs> that's how that's gonna work. So today I'm trying a palette um, that I got at Mercari that I really wanted to try. And I've swatched it so far, but I haven't used it. It is the uh, Immortalis palette. I think that's how you say it, Immortalis, by Lime Crime. It is right up my alley. It is cool tones. It is smoky tones. It's really cool. Um, some of these shimmers, I'm gonna be honest with you, leave a lot to be desired in swatching. So I'm hoping that they're not like that when I try to put them on. Um, so I am just going to grab this little fluffy brush from Morphe. It is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH36. And I'm going to dip in to the first shade here, this little shade over here, Cameo. And I'm just going to take that, put it all over my lid. Alrighty, so that was just a nice little setting shade. I like it, it's light, it's fine. Um, next I'm going to go into the shade Ash right here, this nice like bluish gray, and I'm gonna just blend that all over my crease. ash and I blended it almost all the way up to my brow bone and what I'm going to do now is take the shade unveil which is like a dark dark brown and I'm going to work that into just my crease not up to my brow and I'm just going to try to deepen my crease as much as possible you know I like a dark crease so I'm going to use this little tiny brush this is from Sonia Kashuk and it has nothing on it so I don't know what brush it is so look it up oh my god that's pigmented palette got some bad reviews but if I wouldn't buy this freaking thing just for these two shades I love this it's giving me like the exact like shadow inner like it it's giving me like the exact kind of like shadow dark that I want like what am I trying to say shadow dark crease I keep wanting to say outer corner shadow dark like crease that I want I I really really love it this brown or this like really deep chocolate brown blends out so nice and it's just like it doesn't lose its pigment it's staying really nice it's easy to work with. I am a huge fan so far. So I think what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna take this shade Hale, which is the silvery shade. I'm gonna put that all over my lid. I'm just gonna use my finger, put it all over my lid. Um, let me see, this one is the one that definitely like picked up the best when I was trying to swatch them. The shade Marble, if I'm being honest, like kind of looks like nothing and the shade Echo just like did not pick up very well. So I'm gonna take this one and try it. That is laying down beautifully. So I also took some more of the shade Unveil and I just put it on like the outer corner. And I can definitely see this becoming like one of my favorite palettes that I use like all the time because I love the way this look turned out. I think it's super, super pretty. So I am just going to put on some eyeliner and then I'll come back because I have a new mascara to try. So we lined and I curled my lashes. So I just got recently the Maybelline Colossal Lash. Um, I've heard good things about it. It has pretty good reviews. So I'm going to try this. I already, sorry, I had to move a notification on my phone. <laughs> I already uh, uh, curled my lashes. So I'm hoping this is good. You know, I like a very dark mascara. So let's give this one a go. I really like the brush on this. I prefer like bristles over the plastic, which I have said before, if you've ever watched my videos, I'm not a huge fan of plastic bristles. So... so this is without and this is with it's kind of hard to tell because i have a smoky eye on right now um i don't notice a ton of difference if i'm being honest
Okay, so, oh, I mean, I don't hate it. It's definitely not my favorite mascara. Um, it gave me, you know, some lashes. I was able to put a little bit on my lower ones. I just do like a very, very, very light coating on my bottom ones because I don't like the way it feels. Um, I don't, you know, I don't hate it. I don't love it. It's just kind of mascara. It's okay. <laughs> so yeah, this is the finished look with all of the new products. My face feels okay right now. It's definitely already getting oily in here and I haven't been wearing it very long. So I don't know that I will be using this one again. The makeup went on smooth. It looks nice. It's just a little too oily for my skin. Um, if you have dry skin, I would suggest it. It seems pretty nice and it definitely like my makeup looks really nice. I don't look like I have any pores. It went on good. I just think it's not for me. <laughs> um, everything else I was, you know, I was pretty good on. I. Um, there's definitely you know shades these two shimmers in here um are not the best this silver is pretty pretty great i really like it but um these are not great and also this shade here moth uh it's pretty but when you swatch it it doesn't really look like anything <laughs> so a couple of the shades out of this palette are not the best i got it on mercari so i got it um you know for not very much so it wasn't that bad for me but I definitely don't think I would have paid full price for it even though I do really like a couple of the shades in here I just don't want to pay that much money for like two shades that I like but anyway thank you for watching my video and you know hanging out with me while I tried new makeup um I'm drinking out of a trick-or-treat cup that I got from Spirit Halloween because it's Halloween for me I decided from now until Halloween probably after too Halloween mm. But thank you for watching me, and if you're interested in seeing me try more stuff, please subscribe. Also, if you have any good mascara recommendations, because I am, like, fresh out of good mascaras right now. <laughs> thank you for watching.